next to the hole in the ground that used to be Fulton County Stadium. Top one, Greg Maddox's first pitch of the game to Craig Biggio grounds to short. Third pitch of the game, Derek Bell flies to center. Fourth pitch of the game, Jeff Bagwell flies out to left. A most economical buzzing of the bees. Bottom one, Kenny Lofton leading off against Daryl Kyle. Bloops it to left. He stretches it into a double. He would later score on a sacrifice fly by Chipper Jones. Braves up 1-0. Manufactures a run. Ryan Klesko would manufacture a run without breaking that much of a sweat. Kyle's first pitch of the second inning, gone. Braves up 2-0. To Top three, that's your score runners on first and second with Bagwell on deck. Bell at the plate. On a 3-2 pitch with two outs. Takes what looks like it's ball four, grounds to short to end the inning. Astros leave two runners on instead of loading the bases for Bagwell. Bzz. There's Bagwell on top of the fourth. Jeff Blauser robs him. Still 2-0 Braves top of the fifth. Tony Eusebio on first. He steals his first major league base. Later in the inning, Kyle up. Base hit. All right, let's just say it. Pitcher helping his own cause. Go ahead. All right, pitcher helping his own cause. He had a two-for-two two day. Astros down 2-1. to one. Kyle stepping it up on the mound. Check out the spin. Eduardo Perez did. He just looked at it. That's the pitcher helping his own call. Right there, exactly. <laughs> Top six. Astros down two to one. Luis Gonzalez. It's a short pop fly to left. It drops, but Kenny Lofton throws to first and gets Gonzalez in a rundown, and Gonzalez runs the Astros out of a potential decent inning. Let's go to the top of the eighth. Still 2-1 Braves. Bobby Abreu on first with nobody out. Biggio and Bell hit lazy fly balls to right. Andrew Jones is there, not once, but twice. Two outs in the inning. After Jeff, next batter, Jeff Bagwell, after Abreu steals second, he strikes out, ends the inning. Top nine, Braves up two to one. Maddox gets Sean Berry with two outs to ground a second to end the game. The bench loving, all right, they're business-like loving. Maddox, complete game. Braves win two to one. Any mistakes from Mike Hampton, who was hit hard right off the bat in the first inning, but his defense bails him out in the form of Richard Hidalgo. Nice catch. Top of the third, still scoreless one on Tom Glavin. Getting Jeff Bagwell. Bags wants a do-over, 0 for 8 with 5 Ks in this series. Glavin would help himself at the plate. The Braves have a good hitting pitching staff, and Glavin will get the first Braves base hit since the second inning of Tuesday's game one. Two batters later, two on. Jeff Blauser, who Bobby Cox moved up to the number two hole because he hits 588 against Mike Hampton. Here's an example of that, a three-run home run. Putting the game away, at least that's what Atlanta thought. The top of the fourth, Astros would battle back two on, two out. And the pitcher Hampton on deck. Glavin decides to pitch to number eight hitter, Brad Osmus. You know, he was one for 22 lifetime against Glavin, but this time he capitalizes with a two-run double. And Astros were within one. Your next batter is Mike Hampton. Astro pitchers hitting better than the top three in their lineup. Getting it done, and we're tied at three, and it scores Osmus. So we have ourselves a ball game. Bottom five, same score, two outs. Things fall apart for Hampton. Walking Chipper Jones, and the next batter, Fred McGriff, he would walk, and your next batter, Javi Lopez, would walk. Bases now loaded. And Hampton would lead this game with eight walks, including this one to Andrew Jones, which brings in the go-ahead run, Chipper Jones. 4-3 Braves, and Durker says bye-bye to Hampton, and in comes Mike McNanty. Next batter. Your pinch hitter for the Braves, Greg Colburn, ending a Braves 0 for 25 pinch hitting in the postseason slump. Two runs would score on that single for Colburn at 6-3 Atlanta. Top six, two on for Craig Biggio. The fly down the line, Andrew Jones times his leap and makes a nice catch. Biggio frustrated because he knows the Strohs now have to sweep the remaining three games in the five entering Friday's game. Top of the first, no score, one out. Kenny Lofton on first. Kenny Lofton is gone. Chipper Jones still at bat. Mr. Jones got a thing going on. Crushes the fastball deep down the right field line. Reynolds can't believe it. Top of the second, one nothing Braves. Ryan Klesko, the long fly to the gap in left. Bounces in, bounces to the wall. Klesko cruises in the second with the double. Reynolds settles down, gets Javi Lopez with the splitter. That's out number one, then Michael Tucker does the exact same thing. We're out number two, but Reynolds can't get out of the inning. Jeff Blauser, the shot right up the middle. Chucky Carr comes up throwing, comes home, tries for the play at the plate, but the throw is wide, hits Plesko in the leg. Braves lead 2-0. Smoltz takes over from there, bottom of the second, two out. Smoltz, Brad Osmus looking bad, swinging to end the inning. Then Derek Bell in the third, strikes out, swinging. That ends that inning, top of the fourth, same score. Lopez, the rocket, but Ricky Gutierrez 
The great diving play to Rob Lopez. Bottom of the fourth, two out. Billy Spires at bat. Freeze frame. Ends that inning. Smoltz allows only one hit through the first six innings. Top of the seventh. Bray still up two zip. Russ Springer in for Reynolds. Tucker. The bloop single into center field. Carr gets it on the bounce. He comes home one more time. This time it's online, but Javi Lopez is safe. Braves lead it three to nothing. Bottom of the seventh. Carr tests out his bat. Fastball in. Fastball out. Solo home run. Leo Mazzoni's upset. Braves lead narrowed three to one, but Smoltz strikes out Bobby Abreu for out number one in the bottom of the eighth. Then Thomas Howard swings and misses for number two. Biggio, the weak liner to second. He finishes one for 12 in the series. In the ninth, Bell, the easy grounder to Blouser. That's out number one. Bell over 13. Bagwell then is up. The chopper to Chipper. Out number two. Bagwell finishes one for 12. Then Spires, the bouncer to Blouser. That ends the game, the series, the Astros season. Smoltz is ecstatic. Bagwell is bombing. Smoltz strikes out 11. He goes the distance as Atlanta wins it 4-1. to one. Smoltz, he 